everybody. Completely different job for today. Something that we do this time of year quite often actually. Because obviously the hedges and stuff are slowed down now. The grass is picking up, but it's not every two weeks. Um, got a little help for me today. Yeah, bye. Hi, so I'll show you what we're doing. Got these railway sleepers. Let's go down. Bag of golden gravel. I think I knocked that off then. Made a couple of romps here so we can get up the steps with the wheelbarrow in a minute. Look how ginger my hand is off that gravel. And we'll just get you down to the job now. Oh, we got a line across here because this chunk of grass is going to be coming out. Sleepers are going to be going across the edge, right around. <coughs> All this knocked out, and then the fresh gravel over the top. At the minute, the dog keeps knocking all the gravels onto the ground here, so we're going to block it off and freshen it up for him. I'll get you set up and uh, crack on here, Joe. Yeah. yeah, now do another one extra. Go on, Loosening it all up for the pick for his lad. Some air in the tire. Yeah. Right. Get that in there and follow me with a bag, okay?
That's the dugout, what's up, Joe? That's the dugout. Got a matching line edge to the garden. Better edge than what's there as well, obviously. Um, all the sleepers are down here already. Gonna move the golden gravel now. So we've got another bag over here then. Um, Gotta get all this shoveled now and over there now, Joe. Yeah. Ah, oh, you ready? Empty this bag now, Joe. Yeah? We'll get the rest of the soil in that bag. So then we're not making more of a mess up there. And then we're going to go for dinner. And then I'm going to get all that cut out there. And we've got all the teeth chopped off as well. Yeah, just this part here that we've got.
Oh, getting absolutely soaked here. I'm gonna go and sit in the van for a bit. <clears throat> Nice and dry there, bud. Yeah. I'm not. Should we have some cakes? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's definitely not going to stop raining, so. Just push through, I think. If I just spend another hour in it, and then go for it from there, don't mind going home a bit wet now. It's pushing three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, didn't realise the time to be honest. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the little man in the landy to stay dry. Um I'm gonna crack on pulling this out and getting it all nice and level. Nearly there, I've got my hole ready for the sleepers to sit in there. Hide off all this edge here next. And then it's gonna run across the top of there and box the whole area in. A lot of faffing around here though because it's all concreted there and they used to have an old shed right there. So that's got a massive foundation underneath the ground here. Yeah. Stop moidering, crack on. You know, that was a graft. I've got it all out now anyway. Except for that piece of... Right, so 
dig this out. We're going to have a straight one here. And then we're going to be grinding this out here now. Like that. And then we've got a sort of straight edge there. Sort of straight edge there. Straight down to there. And then around. Down! Panicking about you, but it's nice and straight there. Looks like it's not being cut off the door, does it? Lovely job. Yeah. And that's how, yeah, when you've got a four inch grinder, mm. you have to do this properly, yeah, you'd have to cut it one side, flip it over, cut the other, yeah? Mm. Because I can't flip it. If you cut, you cut that far into it, yeah? Mm. Halfway, yeah? And then instead of just going bam, 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 bam and cracking this slab, yeah? You just go bang, 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 yeah? Move it. Bang bang bang, move, bang bang, move, bang bang, bang bang, and then work your way back to that, yeah? Yeah. And then you don't damage this, and it takes all this off. Yeah? Does that need a jet wash here as well? Probably, yeah. And now we've got a nice straight entrance into the corner here I'll just knock this little bit of render off here and then we're going to be coming straight down there as well aren't we lovely jubbly we'll take it here Need to come along that across into there. That's that channel done, then, Joel. <laughs> that looks really good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now we need to go and mess about with the levels over there, mate. Um, whilst we've got the grinder, oh, actually, I'll see if I can hammer a bolster that off there. Hammer and bolster.
Starting to take place, you know. Just breaking the back for tomorrow, so then when we come back here tomorrow morning, it should be plain sailing. Like, um, so yeah, we've dug all this out this morning, so we've got the extra little bit of area. She wants this to stay in there. I don't see how it's going to work personally. Um, I might just cut it here and then start my sleeper from there. Probably look a bit better. So then we're going to be coming straight down there, across the back, across the sides, back to here. Just going to see what the little Joe's doing. Where's your gloves, la? <laughs> Should we get the membrane over that? I'm going to get my grinder on here quickly, okay? And I'm going to chop that off because it's pointless that being there. It looks daft. Um, our sleep is going to be coming up to here then. I'm going to have to chop it. Grinder's going again, aren't Okay. Where's my glasses, lad? That's better. In line with it now, yeah? So we can get our sleepers coming up to here, Joe. Yeah? Yeah. And then it's going to run then straight across mm -hmm. into the bar there. Yeah, look, straight across this line into the bar. Yeah, and then it's going to run across like that then. And then we're going to, we'll put new slabs in there then. There we go. Right then. All right. All right. All right, all right. <laughs> I wasn't planning on doing this, Joe, but these wheelbarrows, yeah, that one and that one, full of soil. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take you for the customer, mate, because she's going to be getting rid of it in a car. Obviously, we've got the trailer here, so it's only fair, I suppose. She can get rid of the rubble. We can get rid of the soil, can't we, love? Yeah. Could probably use a bit in the garden anyway. What's all this white stuff in here? Uh, Dust. Yeah. What have you been doing? You were picking them up, don't you? Oh, they have holes in them. Hi.
back in sunny Carnarvon today and it is absolutely beautiful. Today, do I got for my birthday image today? Very nice. Oh, better get you set up. I've got these sleepers across here now, so we can get my levels and then just work my way around, get it all boxed in. Might have to do a little bit more digging on this area, I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it goes. in the middle so I am going to knock it down a bit more but that's about the level I'm going to be looking for Perfect. And also what I've done there by whacking it with that big Thor hammer, it's actually created a solid packed grounder. So now it's got its solid ground, it's got its level. I'll be staking each side in the behind there and burying it. So yeah, that's uh, that's probably the best way of putting them down if you're ever gonna be installing these yourself. Make sure you give it a good whacking down and create a nice flat bed underneath it first. I've seen a lot of people packing it up with stone and it's just ridiculous to be honest. <clears throat> These sleepers are 2,400 there. We'll probably need the offcut to bring up a level or two here, buried like 
just so we can allow it to go off their level. Right. Gonna go and carry on up that wall side for now.
bits of one. Concrete. Probably used to be an old fence here before they put the wall in. So they've got the, uh, the old fence is still in there. So you can get older. So we had all these concrete foundations plowed through. Don't you just love digging? Old concrete fence post. Lump of concrete. Fun and games. Grinding, chiseling. Ah, fun of games.
Fucking hell, so close, we're so far. That was fun. <coughs> Cheers. Okay, now. Yeah. The joys of being a landscape gardener. A little bit against the time, so level there, level across there, and we've got to there. Try not to film too much here because uh, I don't want to be coming back here for the third day. I'm going to get you on here now, they're going up there, and then we'll try and box it all off.
unfortunately my new memory card has made all my uh, videos of me finishing off this job turned all corrupted files so I can't access any of it I had to go back there today <coughs> customer fair play to let me come back just to take my uh, finished photos so here's a quick slideshow of it going through the stages up until now how it is finished today um, so yeah I raised it all up with sleepers had to dig in the trenches for them all to go in made it all level uh, there's a f little footpath going up on the right hand side just in front of where I am there reading all the slabs there for it and yeah it looks really really nice uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get any more footage because it would have been nice to put the uh, the path together in a little video for you uh, the rest of it not much you can not much you're missing out of because it is just putting sleepers in Here, here's what it looks like I did a little video there's the footpath that I've put together for it right up against the sleepers so there we have it that's what it looks like now completely finished nice little footpath going up the right hand side of there all boxed in nice and flush right the way around because the garden is going up on a bit of a level there and obviously just above it you've got the grass so naturally if I was to go flush with the ground over there the grass would be coming into the chickens every time you cut it so uh, you know every one of you know how much of a problem that will be constantly having to get the grass from the chickens and then it's just going to cause problems you get all the stuff trying to grow in between it'll turn into weeds and yeah it's going to make a mess of things so we've gone up a little bit on the left hand section over there you can see a little lip going up it's just taking it level with the footpath that's going up the right hand side of the garden so yeah we've just brought that top one up it's still level across but it has gone up just just a tad just to make sure that grass doesn't come over when it's getting strimmed along the edge so yeah there we have it completely finished i hope you enjoyed that again i'm sorry i couldn't finish it off properly for you but it's just one of those things unfortunately absolutely nothing i can do about it thank you everybody for watching i hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one, hopefully. Cheers, take care.